This video will review the basic startup of the AC3 Optimus IABP for conventional IAB insertion. To ready the pump, connect AC power and turn power on. The AC3 Optimus series system starts up in autopilot mode by default. When powering on the pump for the first time, the getting started checklist will display. A red X next to an item indicates that item is not ready and further action is needed. A green check indicates that an item is complete and no further action is needed. Establish direct ECG connection via chest electrodes. For consistent triggering, it is important to verify the ECG signal is adequate. White overlays on the ECG trace and a red heart symbol icon flashing with each heartbeat indicates the presence of a triggering signal. Next, connect the transducer cable to the front of the pump. A standard pressurized arterial transducer setup will need to be prepared to connect to the central lumen of the balloon catheter and to the pump. It is recommended that you zero the disposable pressure transducer prior to starting therapy. However, this can be completed after therapy has been initiated on the patient. The zero icon with a red line through it indicates that the transducer has not been zeroed. To zero the AP transducer, touch the zero icon on the screen the AP waveform, or source key. Ensure that the AP sources tab shows transducer as the source. Open the transducer to air. Press the zero key. Close the transducer to air. The final connection will be the IAB gas drive tubing. The scrub person will hand off the IAB gas drive tubing to the circulating person to connect to the pump once the IAB has been inserted into the patient and its position has been verified. Connect the balloon connector to the pump. Verify that the IAB volume matches the connector. Verify that there are all green checks on the checklist. The start pump on the checklist is now blue. Initiate pumping by pressing the start pump on the checklist. Observe the console pumping in a one-to-one -one assist.